Proceeding further, all right, let's take up this particular example. You have 3x raised to 4, so integral of 3x raised to 4 plus 5x raised to 6 plus x plus 1 upon x plus 5. So, just initially, we can write this as 3x raised to 4 dx plus 5x raised to 6 dx plus x dx plus 1 upon x dx plus 5 dx. Just for understanding initially, this of course is going to be 3 will be coming out of the integration. It's going to be x raised to 4 plus 1 upon 4 plus 1. We need to write plus k here, plus k, plus k. Towards the end, we write a common constant as I mentioned earlier. This is going to be 5 into x raised to 6 plus 1 upon 6 plus 1 plus x raised to 1 plus 1 upon 1 plus 1 plus this x raised to minus 1 plus 1. Mm -hmm. No, it's 1 upon x, so it's going to be log x plus 5. Now, this is integration of a pure constant. It is 5 into x raised to 0, so it's going to be 5x plus constant k. This k is the sum of the constant obtained here, 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 here. So, we can write it together, sum up together and write it as a constant. Now, this is going to be 3x raised to 5 by 5 plus 5x raised to 7 upon 7 plus x square upon 2 plus log x plus 5x plus a constant k. So, we are writing a common constant as mentioned in the previous example. So, this is how we can break up the whole integral. So, when it comes to how in differentiation d by dx of gx plus fx is nothing but d by dx of gx plus d by dx of fx. We use the same principle out here. There are many functions u, v, w, etc. It's nothing but integral of u dx plus v dx plus w dx and so on and so forth. Okay. Alright, so now we have integral of 2x raised to minus 4 plus 7x raised to minus 6 plus x plus 1 by x plus 1 by 5. So, the indices are negative. So, obviously, we are going to write this as integral of 2x raised to minus 4 dx plus integral of 7x raised to minus 6 dx plus integral of x dx plus integral of 1 by x dx plus integral of 5 dx. Okay, so in the initial sums, we'll do this breaking up. As we go on further, we'll straight away find out what it is. Now, this is going to be 2x raised to minus 4 plus 1 upon minus 4 plus 1 plus 7 into x raised to minus 6 plus 1 upon minus 6 plus 1 plus x raised to 1 plus 1 upon 1 plus 1 plus log x plus 5x and the constant k which is the sum of all these constants k1, k2, k3, k4, k5 together is k. Now this is going to be obviously minus 2 by 3 x raised to minus 3 hence that will become minus 2 by 3 x cube and this is going to be minus 7 upon 5 minus 6 plus 1 upon x raised to 5 plus x square by 2 plus log x plus 5x plus k. Hence, we get it this way. Simple questions very easily can be done. Okay, so now we have this exactly. Now, <clears throat> so here we write 3 e raised to x dx plus 4 raised to x dx plus integral of 7x raised to minus 6 dx plus integral of 2x dx plus integral of 1 by x dx plus integral of 5 dx. This of course is going to remain 3 raised to 3 into e raised to x I'm sorry plus k1 plus it's integral of a raised to x. So, it's going to be 4 raised to x. In case of derivative, we multiply by log a. In case of integral, we need to divide by log a, a in this case is 4. 
and here this is going to be 7 x raised to minus 6 plus 1 upon minus 6 plus 1 x raised to n plus 1 upon x raised to n plus 1 plus 2 x raised to 1 plus 1 upon 1 plus 1 plus log x plus 5x plus the summative constant k. This is going to be 3e raised to x plus 4 raised to x upon log 4 and this is going to be minus 7 by 5. This becomes x raised to minus 5 which is x raised to 5 plus 2x square upon 2 plus log x plus 5x plus k. Hence we get this as 3e e raised to x plus 4 raised to x upon log 4 minus 7 by 5 x raised to 5 plus x square plus log x plus 5x plus k.